What's good, y'all? This is Main Boxing Biker here to talk about this shameful heavyweight champion that we got coming straight out of the UK, Anthony Joshua. Dude, I've been a fan of you before a lot of people even knew who you were. There was channels and big boxing channels on top of it. I didn't even know who you were. We were saying like, oh, you are nobody. And I still been a fan back then. But the fact that you scared to face top competition when a dude like Wilder call you out. Wilder has been the longest reigning heavyweight champion in the world. Why won't you want to take his belt? That WBC belt is the belt that we have crazy respect for. And you don't even want to compress this man to get that belt, man. This man been offering, offering the belt to you like, yo, what's good? I got this. Take it. Dangling the carrot in front of your nose and you too puss to come take it, homie. You crazy, bro. You crazy. You're making people lose my respect for you. In fact, I've been lost respect for you as a fighter. I'm sorry, bro. The way I, the way I was raised, man, I don't know how some of y'all dudes was raised, but the way I was raised, man, yo, you're going to have to hurt me, bro. You're going to have to knock me out. Some, when it come to when it come to stuff like that, when it come to a dude violating you like that, in front of your crib, in front of your peoples, in front of your fam, in front of your audience, dude, you can't take that, bro. You can't take that. I would say in front of your girl, but I saw that picture, Black Fight Fan. Shout out to Black Fight Fan TV, LDBC. You know that cat, he put you on blast when he posted that picture with you on the beach with a, nothing but a bunch of dudes, straight sausage fest. You crazy. You know what make it crazy too, suspect? I ain't never seen you in a picture with a, with a girl, son. I ain't never seen you with a shorty. I don't even think you got a girl. You're looking wild sus. Besides all that, though, let's, let's get back to boxing. <laughs> Yo, you don't want no smoke with, with Wilder, son. It's like this man can get, he can come, even if Wilder see, I'll take 2%. And you take 98%, I still don't believe you got the heart to do it. I don't believe you have the heart to do it. At that point, I believe that he Hearn will try to toss your ass in the ring. But I believe at that point, you're going to start to fight back. Because you don't want to get stretched. I feel you're scared. I feel like you're scared. You can't be that shook. You can't be that shook. A lot of fighters got knocked out and came back. Tyson got knocked out in mid-career and came back. You know, you can, if you get your ass stretched, yo, you get knocked out, son, you, it'll be alright, son, you stretched out on the ground, you'll be alright, you can come back, we not, listen, we gonna respect you, if you go in there and get stretched out, then for you to sit there and duck the fight and eventually get stretched by either Wilder or somebody else, then you're gonna look bad, at least right now we're looking at Wilder as the bad man in the division, if Wilder go in there and you get knocked out by him, hey, how many times as kids we will always say, yo, if Tyson knocked me out, I don't care, I get the money. You know this is the biggest fight you can make. This is the biggest fight. You're not going to let it marinate, homie. You can try to make it marinate, but it's not going to marinate to what you want it to be. You're not. It, Floyd and Pacquiao, Mayweather Pacquiao passed already. That happened at a sweet point in boxing. We didn't have the social media that we have now. We didn't have the, the ways to stream. We didn't have the ways to, you know, catch the fights off the grid where you don't get paid for it, homie. We didn't have that back then like that. They had it always, like, a little here and there, but not as much as we have it right now. You're not going to get what you think you're going to get. Make the fight right now. This is the point where the fight is at its highest peak. Do not go in there and get your ass knocked out before, or so one of you guys take an L before this fight happens, son. Because then you're gonna, then it's not gonna have the big lust that it has now. I got people in Canada be like, "Oh, who's that? Yo, that bronze bomber guy is crazy. We be knocking dudes smooth out. They be looking like straight world star type knockouts." I don't never hear them talking about Joshua knockouts. They don't even know who Joshua is. That's what I be saying. Like when people be saying, trying to make it seem in the UK, like, "Oh, everyone knows who Joshua is. Joshua is the man, and Joshua is the baddest man on the planet." is wilder boy cut the shit we yo we know in the u.s we know who wilder is they don't know who joshua is real raps most people don't know anthony joshua here so y'all can talk all y'all want only hardcore boxing fans that knows okay wilder's best competition is gonna be joshua we know who he is but for people who just watch boxing here and there, they just see this American champ that's knocking everybody smooth out, smooth out, world star type knockouts. If, if Wilder is so wild and you believe you're so much better, why not get him out the picture? 
Why are you gonna let him get better? This is the same problem that happened with Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman should have took out Earl Spence way back in the days when Floyd first said if you beat Thur if you beat Spence. I probably got it all jacked up. But Keith Thurman should have took on Spence when Mayweather told Thurman fight Spence, beat him, and I'll fight you afterwards. Give you that big payday that you want so bad that you're desperately sc scratching and crawling and screeping for. And Thurman didn't do it. Guess what happened within them years that he kept procrastinating? He remained the same. In fact, it looked like he started to reach, you know, regress a little bit. And and freaking Spence just keep getting better and better and better and stronger. Thurman, it's a wrap for you when you finally take that fight, homie. You're gonna get you're gonna get knocked smooth out. Yo, I'm telling you, Thurman and Joshua is gonna be two damn memes. That's what they don't want. They don't want to be turned into memes. I believe that. I believe Thurman and, jo and, and Joshua is going to really become memes and they're scared of that. They don't want the backlash. See what it is is that these dudes want the publicity and all that and the fame and all that from social media. And Joshua, they're talking about how many followers he got and Wilder don't got as much followers. Guess what? A dude like Holyfield, Evander Holyfield didn't have a lot of followers either. But guess what? He would knock a lot of dudes smooth out or outbox them, outbox them or beat them to freak up. Don't tell me about followers. I don't watch boxing to know who got follow who got the most followers. You feel me? I don't care about your followers. When I'm watching a fight, you think I'm sitting there. Say it's a street fight. You think I'm gonna sit there and, and watch a street fight happening and be like, hold on, guys, don't start scrapping yet. While they while they're ready to go at it. Who got the most followers? Oh, I got the most followers. Okay, then the guy with the most followers is gonna win the fight. You think we do that in the streets? Nah, homie. Your followers don't save you from an ass whooping or a bullet or, or, or even getting locked up. So cut the crap. We don't want to hear about followers. That's BS. That's duck tactics. You do talk about followers and, and the financial that, you know, sense and... Yo, some of y'all can't even manage y'all own bum-ass bank accounts, but y'all sitting there trying to be managers of boxers and financial advisors and promoters and all, judging lawyers. Like, cut the crap, man. Cut the crap. You control your life before you come sitting here trying to show us that you could judge fighters and what's going on in fighters' lives and, and what career route they should take. You can't, you can't even figure out what career route you should take, homie, with your stupid-ass job. Some of y'all dudes working fast food and all kind of BS. I'm not knocking fast food workers and shit, but I'm just saying, stop trying to be financial advisors talking about what don't make sense financially. Take the fight, get your shit going, make the bread, whatever you're going to make from the fight. The main thing is take the fight, get the get the W. You swear you so much nicer, get the W, man. You sitting here worrying about all this extra BS. We don't care about that. I ain't getting a dollar and none of y'all other fans getting a dollar from these people that sit in there taking the fight. Even the damn... Reporters and announcers not getting no money. No money from these dudes fighting. They not giving you none of their money. So why the hell it matters what the purse is? Man, kill yourselves, yeah. The dumbass yo, dumbass opinions, man. Anyways, I'm out. Main boxing biker. Don't got me pissed off. I was trying to make a happy video, but now I'm pissed off with this dumb shit. I'm out.